In the early 20th century, a brilliant mind emerged from the bustling streets of New York City. Born on April 22, 1904, J. Robert Oppenheimer would go on to shape the course of history with his scientific prowess and indomitable spirit. Born to Julius S. Oppenheimer, a wealthy German textile merchant, and Ella Friedman, an artist, Oppenheimer's upbringing was marked by intellectual curiosity and a thirst for knowledge. Although of Jewish descent, his family did not strictly adhere to religious traditions. His educational journey began at the Ethical Culture Society School, where he developed a passion for physics. His alma mater would later honor him by naming its physics laboratory after him. In 1922, he entered Harvard University with dreams of becoming a chemist, but soon found his true calling in the world of physics. Seeking further knowledge and experience, he ventured to England to conduct research at Cambridge University's prestigious Cavendish Laboratory. It was here that he had the opportunity to work under the guidance of the renowned physicist J.J. Thomson. Yeah, the one who discovered electrons. In 1926, he pursued his PhD at the University of Göttingen, studying under the esteemed Max Born. At a remarkably young age of 22, he obtained his doctorate, marking the beginning of his influential career. Just 22 years old. During his time in Göttingen, he made significant contributions to the field of quantum theory. Notably, he published a groundbreaking paper on the Born Oppenheimer approximation, revolutionizing the mathematical treatment of molecules by separating nuclear and electronic motion. Returning to Harvard and later studying at the California Institute of Technology, he continued his research in mathematical physics. He held an assistant professorship in physics at the University of California, Berkeley, and maintained a joint appointment with the California Institute of Technology. This period marked the establishment of him as the founding father of the American School of Theoretical Physics. His scientific journey encompassed diverse fields, including astrophysics, nuclear physics, spectroscopy, and quantum field theory. His research on cosmic ray showers laid the foundation for our understanding of these phenomena. Additionally, he was the first to propose the existence of black holes, contributing to the advancement of astrophysics. Einstein must be so jealous. With the onset of World War II, Oppenheimer's life took a pivotal turn. Driven by a desire to serve his country, he eagerly joined the efforts to develop an atomic bomb. In June 1942, he was appointed as the scientific director of the Manhattan Project by General Leslie Groves. Under his guidance, the Los Alamos laboratories were constructed, assembling the brightest minds in physics to tackle the complex challenge of creating an atomic bomb. Managing a team of over 3,000 scientists and technicians, Oppenheimer played a central role in the project's success. The culmination of their work came on July 16, 1945 with the first nuclear explosion at Alamogordo, New Mexico. Oppenheimer fittingly named this historic event Trinity. The world had witnessed the immense power of the atomic bomb. In the 1965 NBC News documentary titled The Decision to Drop the Bomb, Oppenheimer shared his immediate emotions after the successful test, sparking a continuing debate and controversy. He expressed, He knew the world would not be the same. Two people laughed. Few people cried. Most people were silent. I remembered the line from the Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita. Vishnu is trying to persuade the prince that he should do his duty. And to impress him, takes on his multi-armed form and says, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. The highly anticipated movie, Oppenheimer, to hit theaters on July 21, 2023, is based on his internal conflicts and external endeavors and failures. During promotional interviews for the film, the lead actor, Murphy shared that he immersed himself in the scripture to prepare for the role. He mentioned, I did read the Bhagavad Gita during my preparation, and I found it to be an incredibly beautiful and inspiring text. I think it provided solace to Oppenheimer, he needed it. Following the war, Oppenheimer's contributions continued as he was appointed chairman of the General Advisory Committee of the Atomic Energy Commission. However, in the politically charged climate of the 1950s, he faced accusations of communist sympathies and had his security clearance revoked. 
Undeterred by adversity, he was the director of Princeton's Institute for Advanced Study from 1947 to 1966. He fostered intellectual discourse and research in quantum and relativistic physics during his tenure. He died with a very heavy heart of guilt that he developed something that could kill hundreds of thousands in one swoop. Only had he known about the zero-point energy, he would have felt even more guilt. This video says why.